In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to add a disclaimer to your footer. Here's our first example, our second example, and our last example. Let's get started. So for our first example, we need to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. Next, you want to come over here to our site and install this header and footer template. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. All right, so this is the file that we're going to need for the next step. I'm going to click here on Portability. Next, I'm going to click on Import. And now it's time to import our file. So all I have to do now is to drag and drop it here. Click Import Theme Builder. Now our header and footer has been installed. Next, let's take a look at our website. So I'm going to hit save changes, open our site in a new tab. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this is our footer. Now let's go ahead and add our sticky footer. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go into my global footer by clicking on this pencil icon. Next, I'm going to add a section. So I'm going to click on this plus button here, click on regular single column. And I'm going to add a text module in here. So I'm going to search for my text module and select it. All right, great. So now I'm just going to close out of here. And this is now our footer that we're going to be working on. The next step now is to add a dark color to our footer. So I'm going to click here on section settings. And the color I'm going to add in here is black. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to come over here to advanced and go to spacing. We need to reduce our padding both on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to add zero and apply the same to the bottom as well. And then I'm going to hit save. The next step is to go into our row settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, go to design, sizing. So here we want to make our width 90% and then save. The next step now is to go into our text module. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. You can modify this text to whatever you want. So in my case, I just need to change my color. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And then over here on my color, I'm going to set this to dark gray. I'm going to hit save. And now we want to make this sticky. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, go to advanced scroll effects and set this to stick to the bottom and then save. Now let's test and see if this is working. So I'm going to come over here now to my site, refresh the page. And now you can see we have a footer here on the bottom that we've just created. And when I scroll, you can see that it's sticking to the bottom. All right. So for the second example, we're going to head over to the link, which I'll add in the video description below. This will take you to this lawyer's layout pack. Go ahead and download it by clicking get it for free today. I've already gone ahead and done that. So now you need to go over to your website and install the layout. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. Now I have already gone ahead and downloaded and unzipped the file and here it is. So what I'm going to do next is to click on Portability and then click on Import. Next, I'm just going to drag and drop it here by just dragging like that click on import theme builder templates, right? So now we have our header and footer. Next, we're going to come over here to this little pencil icon to go into the settings. All right. So the next step now is to go to our row settings and change our columns and the columns we need to change to is this one right here. So I'm going to select them, click here on expand settings, go into wireframe mode. And here I can see that the middle part is where we have our current text. I just need to move, move it over here to the other part because our disclaimer needs to come in the middle. So now I can click on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. Next, I'm just going to come over here and paste my dummy text. And now I can hit save and switch over to the desktop mode. The next step now is to go into my text settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to background and I'm going to add my background color. Now notice that the color that I'm adding here is similar to the background of the actual footer. Next, I'm going to come over here to the design tab because I want to make the text darker. In fact, I need to make it black. Add my hexadecimal value for black, which is six zeros. I'm also going to center this text like that. So for this design to look great, what I need to do is to add some padding around it. Scroll over here to spacing and I'm going to add 20 both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to activate this chain so my value can be applied to both sides. The next step now is to add uh, left and right, but this time I'm going to add this as a percentage. So I'm going to say 5% and 5%. Now I can go to the advanced tab, click on scroll effects, and I'm now going to choose stick to the bottom. So I'm going to click here on this drop down and select stick to the bottom. Next, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose to stick to section. I'm going to hit save. So now I'm going to close out of here and let's take a look at our example now. So I'm going to open my site in a new tab, scroll all the way down and take a look at my footer. And you can see this disclaimer there. And now it catches up with everything else. So if I start scrolling, 
All right, so for this last example, I've included the link to the template in the video description below. I've gone ahead and installed it just like how I did in the last two examples. So this is now what I have in my theme builder. Next, I'm gonna click here on this pencil icon. All right, so now we are in our settings. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and add a new row by clicking on this plus button. I'm gonna go with single column. And in that column, we're going to add a text module and select it. And this is where my dis disclaimer text is going to be. I'm gonna paste that and then save. Next, I need to drag this above the footer. So to easily do that, I'm going to click on expand settings. And then I'm going to come over here to my wireframe view and scroll all the way down to the bottom, drag it above like that. Next, I'm going to switch over to my desktop view. Now, the next step is to go into my body text here and change the color. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, go into design and go into the text. So let's start by changing this text to white. And my size here is going to be 16 pixels and for my text line height i'm going to set this to 2 em now let's head over to the animation styles i'm going to scroll all the way down here to animation and the one i'm going to choose is zoom next i'm going to come over here to spacing because i need to give this some breathing space under my padding here i'm going to set this to 50 for the bottom i'm going to set this to 25. now it's time to go to the row settings so i'm going to save this hover over the row settings go into this gear icon. So I'm going to come over here now and go to spacing and select my padding. And here we're going to set this to 25 pixels and for the bottom it's going to be 50 pixels. All right, so let's save and take a look at our final design. There we go. So now you can see it animating there. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.